Looks like fun, doesn't it? Well, it is. This skier obviously is an expert. However, like everyone, he had to go through a learning process as a beginner. This program's purpose is to show the beginning skier the proper fundamentals. Just as in any sport, water skiing is easier to master if you avoid bad habits and employ correct techniques. Though some skiers have learned by starting on one ski, we recommend that everyone begin with two skis. It's much easier. Many beginners want to make their first try from a seated position on the dock. However, this is what happens to most beginners from the dock. In reality, it's easier for the beginner to learn the sport by starting from the water. For this start, keep your knees tucked up to your chest. Have the skis parallel about shoulder width apart and keep your arms fairly straight. When the boat takes up the slack and you feel balanced, yell hit it. There will be a surge of power, so you must hold on and apply pressure with both feet. That's the position you should strive to achieve. Knees flexed, weight over the skis, and above all, the arms fairly straight. The most frequent error by beginners is trying to pull themselves out of the water. This is what happens. Eventually, the skier will fall on his back. You can avoid that problem by keeping your arms straight during the start. The second most frequent error is keeping the knees locked and allowing the skis to get too far apart. When this happens, the boat will pull you over forward. Here again is the proper starting position. Note the knees are bent, arms fairly straight, and the skis are about shoulder width apart. Once you are up, stay between the two wakes until you have built some confidence. You can get the feel of controlling the skis by making easy turns between the wakes. The skis will turn if you shift your weight or if you change the angle of the skis. As soon as you no longer are concerned about simply staying up on the skis, try crossing the wake. Cross with both skis in one motion. After two or three tries across one wake on both sides of the boat, go from one side to the other, crossing both wakes without staying in the middle. There are a couple of cautions for the beginning skier in connection with wake crossing. Avoid letting one ski at a time go over the wake. This causes the skier to straddle the wake. Often this dilemma results in a fall. The second mistake beginners often make while weight crossing is to bend forward at the waist. This puts weight forward on the ski tips and they may dig into the wake. That leads to another sport called swimming. The beginner should handle another boat's wake or bumpy water by keeping the knees bent. It's too easy to make an error in judgment. Resist the temptation to glide in and sit down on the dock. Even long-time skiers have been seriously injured this way. All it takes is a wake that's not noticed. Luckily, our friend is only pulling slivers. The best approach is nearly parallel to a dock. The skier settles into the water a short distance from dockside. 